both teams are going to have to play a lot cleaner as well. Opening face off brought to you by the Carlisle Law Firm, working hard for hardworking people. We are underway. Knights from our left to right in the throwbacks. The 80s version. Last night, either is on the face off. It's one from Mazzillo. His shot, save in, rebound, and wide of the goal. Good bid there in front from the pounding of the stick by Gliggles. Out comes Underwood. I saw a chance and a nice pad save. Flipped out by Fletcher. Now shut again. Another save by Fletcher. Loose puck in the slot, clearing the line. Glock will change for Comels. Top now again for Pike. Was right. Ball to the line pass for a shot and a nice fl flipper pad save again by Hyder. Pike thought it comes for wrist, right wing side wrist. High slot for a pass back across and unable to tee up a shot there. Was the Roberts Kalkis. On the corner, shot for Kalkis for a chance. Oh, what a stop there. Rebound and it goes in. A huge stop then Kalkis gets the rebound and scores for Alaska, giving them the lead at one nothing after what would have been a huge save for Ethan Heider. And they deserve it. They're 19 shots on net thus far. It's a big fall, eats it. Spence and steals in the feet. He's fucked the risk, wins it. All play expiring soon. Throwing it to his left. Shot towards goal, same man, rebound, and it goes in as the power play expires. It's going to be Bro on the rebound. And Martino. Martino for Campbell, top for Colby, high slot. Colby towards the net, save man, rebound, loose, a chance for a shot, and a goal! Locked into the rebound by Alex Campbell. And the Knights on the power play, they a 2-1 game. And the power play success continues. Once again here, it's Alex Campbell, his second power play goal of the weekend. And the Knights are right back in it. And it looked like it was just one of those nights after the series moments before. And this time, Zach Sekos sets up Campbell. Sekos had the first chance. He was stuffed in front and able to, from his knees, get a pass off to his right side. Campbell buries it, and the score is two to one. For Campbell, there's Campbell the anyway. Campbell in on size, dancing in for Romano. For Sekos, right circle. 43 to go in the power play. Roma Sekos looks for Martino. Top for Colblay. Colblay at the net, and it goes in! Off the leg of Zach Sekos. His second straight goal without using his stick. And the Knights are tied the game at two. And there it is once again. The power play, the story of the weekend for the Golden Knights. This time, Zach Sekos as it goes right off his leg into the back of the net. Now it's two to two with just under two minutes to go. Right circle. Knights have tied the game at two with two power play goals. High slot. Hurley gets the return pass. Hurley towards the net. Knocked down. Turn around. Shot. Save it. Rebound. And a goal. The rebound. Luke Santurno has given the Knights their first lead of the game. It's now a 3 2 contest. A face-off win after the icing, and the Knights an even strength goal for the first time this weekend. Richardson with a face-off, pulled free by the Knights. At the net, hooked out of the zone here for Santerno. Santerno towards it, the net, he'll wait and shoot, and he scores! And at the end goal for Luke Santerno, his first true goal game as a Golden Knights. A great flip out by Gosselin and Clarkson. Now leaves it four to two. Tough angle shot as well for Santerno. He was almost below the rim of the circle. Got knocked down, loose puck in the slot, bounced out of the zone, and that'll do it. And all the Knights from down two, win by two. Right now, let's face downstairs where Casey standing by with Josh Helge. Quite a different story than last night. The offense had a really tough time getting going, to held to just two shots in the first period. How about the resilience of this team, able to fight back after going down 2-0, and it felt like all the energy was gone. Yeah, like, it was a disappointing start. I thought uh, it wasn't our best effort, but then once we got it going, like, guys bought in, finished, finished it out, and it was a big time, big time win for us. Able to get your first weekend sweep of the season. Now, start conference play, starting a big non-conference matchup against Michigan Tech. How about the momentum for the team going forward? Yeah, this is this is one that hopefully it carries us. We got to be ready because Michigan Tech is an outstanding hockey team. It would be a, be a really tough test.
Coach, thanks for the time. Good luck next weekend. Yeah, we'll send things back downstairs. Okay, that's all standing by with Luke Santerno. Luke, first star of tonight's game, able to ice it there in the final moments, but even bigger, the game-winning goal with number three. The offense struggled in the first. How did you guys keep, keep it together mentally to be able to come back and win it? Uh, I mean, I think we knew uh, we weren't playing up to our potential. We talked in the locker room that we need a big response. Well, I guess in a media timeout. And uh, yeah, I know. I don't know. The boys answered big at the end of the second and then uh, did a good job closing it out in the third. Ethan Hyder with a couple of big saves to keep you guys in it. And then the one play by Alex Campbell to start the scoring. What did that do for the momentum here to get the energy going? Man, I mean, it's huge. I, like, Hyder has been unreal all year. Um, and then that big goal got us going. You could tell there was a shift in energy. And then uh, obviously we got another peeper, which was huge. And then, yeah, we just kept rolling with that. Looking forward to next week, another home series against Michigan Tech. What are you guys going to have to do better next week to continue the winning streak? Uh, I thought we had a good start uh, our first game this weekend and uh, obviously didn't have one today. So I think we need to get back to that and play a full 60. Luke, thanks. Congratulations on being the first star and good luck the rest of the season. Thank you. I appreciate it. Back to you, Bob. Thank you.